Welcome back. You are watching My Air Miles and in this video we are continuing the series around transformation in DaVinci Resolve. And so today we'll be talking about how to apply a mirror effect, a flip effect, sort of horizontal flip or vertical flip, also known as mirror, and we'll also be talking about how to rotate your videos. So let's jump into it. Again, we'll be using unedited drone video straight from my Mavic Air because that kind of brings the two halves of my channel together. So, we drop the video into the first track of the timeline. And again, we're looking at the inspector and the transform panel in DaVinci Resolve. Now, to apply a simple flip or mirror, horizontal or vertical, you can just use one of these buttons. So make sure your video that you want to apply this to is selected. And if you want a vertical flip, you just click there and boom, you've got a vertical flip. Boom, you've got it back. And the same with a horizontal flip. Now everything's upside down, no problem. You know, I could end the video there, we're done. But no, let's have some fun. So I talked in the last video about keyframes and I'm going to very briefly recap on that. So keyframes is in the most simple terms, how I tell DaVinci Resolve where I want a transformation to start and stop, and then it will interpolate and fill in all the blanks in the middle. Okay, so I want this clip to be about 30 seconds long and it flies around Castle Campbell in Scotland. So I'm going to do Control and R, as you'll know from a previous video, drag it and just bring it down to being around 30 seconds, which is, ouch. Um, 600% speed. We probably will need render cache for this. And again, we've talked about that before. So what you do is you go to playback, render cache and smart. And you'll now see that it's gonna to start to render cache that for me. Now I wanted to do this because I want to be able to play it back smoothly for you in this video without actually rendering it. So we're talking about rotations and things like this. And one of the things that can be quite fun to do is maybe you want say the start of the video to be, you know, everything's normal and normal rotation angle. And say by the end of the video, and back one frame, I want the zoom to be two times and I want it to have rotated 360 degrees. So that's all I did there, right? Is I set two keyframes, one on the zoom and one on the rotation angle and I put the rotation angle to 360. So it went from zero to 360 in a clockwise location. That's all I've done there. And, you know, again, if you wanted to, you could flip it and have it do the whole thing in horizontal or vertical flip as well. But, you know, I think that's relatively self-explanatory. What's more fun is to watch it do something like this. Now, we can quickly sort of scrub through it and you'll see here that as it rotates around the castle, it's going to be slowly zooming in. If you look at the transform panel here, as I do this, you'll see that the zoom position is moving slowly from one to two, and the rotation angle is going from zero to 360. You get this kind of weird effect, but it might almost look, if it wasn't for the fact that there was obvious black clips at the side of the video, that I flew this drone upside down whilst flying it around a circle, and as if I was flying closer to the building as well, which would be very dangerous flying. And I kind of want to make a point here that when you're watching drone videos, don't always just jump to the conclusion that the pilot flew really close to the building. It is possible in post to zoom in and make it look like you were very close to the building when you weren't. And just like that, with the magic of editing software, the blue line is now above the full length of the clip which means we can watch it back now really smoothly. So let's go ahead and do that. So again, pay attention to the right hand side whilst you're watching it and see how the zoom and the rotation angle is automatically changing between the two keyframes that I set up. That's the key point here. DaVinci Resolve and almost every other editing software will do this for you um, if you know what you're doing. Wow, that's quite nice. Um, 
So let's go ahead and watch that one more time. If my tips and tutorials do help you, please do consider subscribing and giving the video a like. I'd really appreciate it if you'd share my videos on your social media to help get the word out about my channel. And as always, if you comment down below, let me know what do you want to learn about? What tips, tricks and tutorials would you like me to create about DaVinci Resolve for you? Because then I can create content you want to watch. And with all that said, as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.